Hi there! My name is Emma and today we have a very good video, a very great video actually, on the difference between then and then. So this is a very, very common mistake a lot of people, both native speakers and ESL students make. So before I begin, I'd just like to thank Millie45 for recommending this video idea, as well as my sister, who is constantly making this mistake. She makes this mistake in business emails. She makes it on um, all sorts of very important documents. And she's constantly told by her boss or by other people, this is a bad mistake to make. So this is also for my sister. I hope she watches this because maybe she won't make these mistakes in the future. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'd like to talk about the pronunciation, the difference in uh, pronunciation between then and than. Okay, so then sounds like Ken. You know, Ken and Barbie, Ken. It rhymes with Ken, then. Than is more like can. So can, than, can, then. So there is a slight difference in pronunciation, although oftentimes when people speak fast, they might actually, you, you may just hear then for, for both cases. When somebody actually says then, you may hear then. So pronunciation-wise, uh, these two are often pronounced as then. Okay, so now let's look at some questions, and I want you to see where you currently are in terms of then versus then. How confident are you that you know the difference between these words? So our first example, she is bigger than me. Do you think this sentence is correct? Did we use then correctly? If you said no, you are correct. This should be then. Number two. I will come then. What do you guys think? This is also incorrect. I ate dinner and then I cleaned up. What do you think? This one? Correct? And I'll go over the explanations in a second. But bear with me. I have more money than my sister. Okay, do you think this is correct? Yes. Although I don't have more money than my sister, so that part's incorrect. And number five, back then, I took the bus. What do you think? This one's also incorrect. So if you have made many mistakes, or there are some of these uh, that have confused you, this video will really help to help you to learn the difference between then and then. Okay, so we're starting with then, with an E. Okay, so what can I tell you about then? First of all, then usually comes at the beginning or the end of a sentence. Not always, but often. Okay, so that's one, one hint. Then doesn't, doesn't come at the beginning of a sentence. Another uh, thing I can tell you is that then has to do with sequence. So sequence means the order, first, then, finally. You often learn that when you learn uh, English in beginner classes. First, I did this, then I did that, next I did this, finally I did that. Okay, so that's sequence. Then also has to do with time. Okay, so um, I will be there then. I'm going to the store, then I will go visit your house. I will be there at five, I will be there then. So it has to do with time. So let's look at some example sentences. First, I rented the movies. Then, I watched all three Lord of the Rings back to back. So that's a very, very long time to spend on Lord of the Rings and I did do that. So notice the sequence though. We have first, first action, next action, then. Then I watched all three Lord of the Rings back to back. Okay. 
Sentence number two. We didn't have the internet back then. Okay, so this is also common to say back then when you're looking at today versus the past. We often call the past back then. Today we have um, Facebook. When I was in uh, junior high, we didn't have Facebook back then. Okay. So again, this has to do with time. Okay, here's another common expression with then. Every now and then. So every now and then means sometimes. Every now and then, I look at my photo album. So sometimes I get this urge to look at my photo albums. Every now and then, I eat ice cream cake. It doesn't happen all the time. It happens once in a while. So I guess you could say every now and then, very similar to every once in a while. Okay, so again, then think sequence and think time. So let's look at then. So remember, then, can, then, jan. It's not then, than with an A. So when do we use than? We use it when we're comparing things, okay? So when we want to compare one thing to another thing, this is when we use than. So what are comparatives? Well, often we may talk about more than. I have more friends than you. I'm not saying that's true. <laughs> that's probably a horrible sentence, but that's just an example of more than. I could also say, I have less friends than you. Good possibility. Then we also have, um, if we have some sort of adjective plus ER, I am richer than you. I am poorer than you. Um, I am smarter than some people. So this is just ER examples, okay? Also, we use than with rather. I would like to go shopping rather than go bowling, for example. Okay, so let's look at some example comparison sentences. Number one, Wolverine is better than Cyclops. This is something I feel confident about. Wolverine is better than Cyclops. Okay, and notice T-H-A-N. Sentence number two, it cost more money than I thought. So this, com this happens a lot when you go shopping, you buy something, you didn't really look at the price. Oh, it costs more money than I thought. So again, if you see the word more, if you see the word less, if you see something ER or rather, these are clues that it's going to be than. Okay, so let's do some uh, practice sentences together. Okay, so we're going to go over the sentences together and I want you to try to fill in the blank with then or then, okay? So sentence number one, I went to the store to buy milk. Blank, I realized I forgot my wallet at home. So do you think this sounds better as then I realized I forgot my wallet at home or then I realized I forgot my wallet at home? Okay, if you said then, you're correct because this is a sequence. First action, then is the second action. Number two, every now and I buy Smarties. Okay, so what do you think it is? Do you think it's then or then? Every now and then. Again, with an E. 
I buy Smarties. Number three, Abdul is funnier, Frank. Abdul is funnier, Frank. Which one do you think it is? Abdul is funnier than Frank. So in this case, our clue, see the ER, we're comparing things. We're comparing Abdul to Frank. So we know it must be than. Number four, vegetables are more expensive in the Yukon, Toronto. So the Yukon is the northern part of Canada. So vegetables are more expensive in the Yukon, Toronto. What do you think? Then. So how do I know it was then? Well, we're comparing the Yukon to Toronto and we have this clue. I see the word more and right off the bat, I think, okay, more than. Anytime I see more, it's, it's going to be some sort of comparison. So in this case, than is correct. Okay. So if you're interested in practicing than and then some more, I invite you to come visit our site at www.ingvid.com. Until next time.